Hi, my name is Ed Stanick, and I'm from Barry City. Uh, I wanted to make you aware of specific action that some of us are asking the people in the building behind us to take when the legislature reconvenes on August 25th to try and put up a shield to protect us from fascism in Vermont. It involves two topics. Number one, establishing a bright line on the limits of federal criminal jurisdiction in Vermont. Number two, to prepare for the potential federalization of the Vermont National Guard. Now what we've asked is that the Senate and the House Judiciary Committees, with the assistance of the Attorney General, and there are detailed requests to them on all this, that they convene hearings to establish the extent of federal criminal jurisdiction. It is not carte blanche. We've provided them with legal authorities dating back to the 1800s. I'm not making this up. The root of this is in a famous Supreme Court decision which affirmed the Fugitive Slave Act. How, how incredibly coincidental is that? And Henry David Thoreau and others pointed out, and the Supreme Court agreed, that there are steps that states can take uh, to limit federal jurisdiction criminally. So the legislature's coming back on August 25th. They're going to have all reasons why they should not do something. They can suspend rules if they want to. They should convene public hearings and take testimony on us. And Attorney General Donovan should get off his ass and do something in a creative and proactive way. Why should we do this now? Some of them are going to say we can wait until January. You know what? Some of us think there may not be legislative sessions in this country come January. Better to be proactive and creative now. So topic number one is we're urging people to contact their senators and House reps to ask the Judiciary Committees to have hearings on limiting federal criminal jurisdiction in Vermont. Topic number two, the National Guard. We like to feel folksy and romantic in the state of Vermont that the Vermont National Guard are the Green Mountain boys and girls, right? They're our militia. Well, the harsh reality is in this country during the Cold War of the 1950s, the federal government subsumed the National Guard into the federal forces. We go through this charade every couple of years where the legislature, quote unquote, elects the adjutant general of the Vermont National Guard. Meanwhile, they're deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq. So the point is this. We've asked the Senate Government Operations Committee and the House Committee on General Affairs and Military Affairs to convene joint hearings to bring in the adjutant general and other people and put the question to them. If President Trump federalizes the National Guard, to whom will the adjutant general and his forces have fidelity and loyalty, to Vermonters or to Donald Trump? Now, some of us, unfortunately, know the answer to that question, but it has to be put out in public. These hearings are not all about just passing legislation. They're about fact-finding and informing Vermonters. I think Vermonters need to know what is the answer on the potential federalization of the National Guard so people can prepare to take appropriate action in the state if necessary. So again, in closing, I urge you to contact your senators and your House reps. Ask them to have these committees have hearings come August on these two topics. Limit federal criminal jurisdiction in Vermont. Number two, what is going to happen, God help us, if the Vermont National Guard is federalized? Thank you.